Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick video to uh, show you statistics of hard drives. Very interesting. Statistics of uh, hard drive failures have been um, shown in these graphics. Um, it is very interesting. Uh, this is, of course, data coming from all sorts of data centers that have used hard drives and uh, of course they come out with failure rates that they've checked. So here's the interesting numbers. So um, of course four brands are uh, visible here. HGST, the uh, Seagates, the Toshiba drives, and the Western Digital drives. So what is the failure rate? Of course the best hard drives are HGST as you see here these are the best hard drives so of all the hard drives that they've tested so the number you see here um, is the number of drives that um, actually were uh, being used at the moment when they uh, could actually test out the number of failures so uh, as you see here 2014 for example 13,447 drives, 1.10% 1 of these drives failed. So uh, HGST drives are very, very good. Look at this, 2014, 2015, and 2016, 1%, just above the 1% failure rate. And if you, you know, think about it, in industry in general, uh, you know, we always say that about 1% failure rate is acceptable. Of course, having better figures is even better but up to 1% failure rate for different products is acceptable especially when you make millions and millions of them uh, it uh, isn't that bad you know but uh, the second drives that are interesting and this is uh, this surprises me a little bit because I don't know if it's you know I, I was actually I was thinking about it because the Toshiba drives I've changed many Toshiba drives and I had a, a personal impression that Toshiba drives were maybe failing a little more. But then again, maybe it's because Toshiba drives are used in many devices, many more devices than I thought. So Toshiba drives are actually the second with the lowest failure rates. So here, of course, the number of drives tested is very low, but at 58 drives, 4.5% uh, failed in 2014, 4.2% in uh, of uh, 2015. But look at this: out of 238 drives, 3% in 2016. So it seems that drives are getting better, and it, it's better for everybody. Uh, it seems that drives in 2016, hard drives are less prone to failure than uh, drives of uh, the previous years. There seems to be a better, maybe better quality control. I don't know. Um, the brand that I, you know, for a long time, a lot of people said buy Seagate drives, buy Seagate drives. But look at this. Out of 15,000 drives, almost 10% failed. That's a lot. One out of 10. Uh, and 2015 was even worse. So one out of 10 drive, that is a lot of drives that fail, basically. But in 2016, it goes back to 3.4%. Somehow... Um, they've managed, maybe they, well, actually, at 10%, they probably said, okay, something's wrong with our drive, we need to change something. And they probably did in 2016, so the drives has, have become better. And finally, Western Digital, that also was regarded as an interesting and good brand. Uh, 2014 failure rates, 8.7%, that's, that's, that's a lot. 7.75% in 2015, and 6.55% uh, in 2016. So it seems from this graph that in 2016, if you have a buy, to buy a drive, uh, try to avoid Western Digital drives. Uh, Toshiba drives are not bad. Seems that Seagate is back into the uh, the, the better performance. But uh, really, here we could see that HGST are the best drives on the market. But they typically are a little more expensive. Um, that's something that needs to be known. So, kind of interesting. Interesting to see that every brand has a trend towards uh, better drives in 2016, at least. Um, that kind of helps. 
And uh, you know what, I, d I do not have AGST drives here uh, where I buy the hard drives for my clients and stuff like that, but I now know that uh, they do have Toshiba drives and that, uh, well, maybe Toshiba drives are going to be the next drives that I install when I change hard drives to clients. So these are the numbers for hard drive failures. That's kind of interesting to see. And it is interesting to see because if you are going to buy a hard drive, at least you can, uh, you know, check this out and try to uh, choose a better drive by uh, looking at these stats. And one last thing, it doesn't show here, but um, in the test that they've made, they um, said that SSD solid state drives are way better than our regular hard drives. So if you're buying an SSD, you are automatically buying a drive that has a much less failure rate than these drives. But it's normal because these drives are the, you know, good old magnetic drives with a uh, arm that moves around. So it's mechanical. And of course, everything that's mechanical will eventually break down. Uh, solid state drives have no moving parts. So it's kind of normal that they actually have a very a much lower failure rate than the regular hard drives. So I hope you enjoyed watching these stats and uh, if you have to buy a hard drive now you know that uh, you can look at this chart and decide what brand you want to have. If you enjoy my videos please subscribe, give us thumbs up and thank you so much for following us on this channel.